in a, sam a random sample of 64 bolts, the mean length was 2.46 inches and the standard deviation was 0 0.09 inch. Use a normal distribution or a T distribution to construct a 99% confidence interval for the mean. Alright, so we're given the fact that the random sample of 64 bolts, that means that my N will be equal to 64. The mean length, which is going to be X bar, since these are samples, that would be equal to 2.46. And then the standard deviation, that's just going to simply be little s, that's going to be equal to 0 0.09. Do I want to use a normal distribution, or do I want to use a T distribution? to construct a 99% confidence interval. So ultimately what I want to do is construct the confidence interval for this. So let's address are we going to use a normal distribution or are we going to use a T distribution. And if we look very carefully we're given a multiple choice scenario, scenario here. Are we going to use a T distribution because N is greater than or equal to 30? Well that would be false since to use a T distribution N must be less than 30. Uh, use a normal distribution because the links are normally distributed and sigma is known. That is not the case in this case. Part C or choice C use a normal distribution because n is greater than or equal to 30 and that's the one that we would use because our sample size is 64 bolts and we can discount the other one. So we want to go ahead and create a confidence interval. In order to create a confidence interval, I can use the formulas given in the textbook or I can use technology. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use StatCrunch. If you do not know how to use StatCrunch or how to find StatCrunch when you are in a homework problem such as this, what you're going to do is left click on this StatCrunch button right here. And that would bring up StatCrunch and you will automatically be logged in. So now we go ahead and we use StatCrunch. So, once you've got StatCrunch up and running, you will left click on Stat, and then we are going to scroll down to ZStats because we are going to use a standard normal distribution, and we're going to scroll over and highlight one sample. We do not have data, but we do have a summary, so we will left click with Summary. You'll see that we will enter the sample mean right here, which is going to be 64. So simply type in 64, then we want to, I'm sorry, not 64, that would be, that's the sample size, the sample mean is 2.46. Standard deviation is 0 0.09. Sample size, that's where you're going to type in the 64. We're not doing a hypothesis test, we are doing a confidence interval for the mean, and we are going to do a 99% confidence interval, so we will change this number to 0 0.99. We will left click compute, and this right here gives me my lower limit and my upper limit for my confidence interval. Now remember that we are going to round that to two decimal places, so for the lower limit it would be 2.43 comma and the upper limit is going to be 2.49 let me go ahead and bring back in the stat crunch window so that you can view that notice that the lower limit is 2.43100210219 which as I said rounds to 2.43 and then the upper limit is 2.4889781 which, as I said, rounds to 2.49.